Hi, this is Rod Rourick. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. Welcome to Rourick Knows Podcast, helping you to become a more educated and better you. So often I talk about a celebrity. Almost every month we choose a celebrity that I think has been a role model or someone that has been impactful. Uh, an influential uh, figure. In this case, uh, today we're going to talk about Ariana Grande. She's truly been an amazing influential figure in uh, as an American singer, songwriter, and, and actress. And she's a truly popular uh, cultural icon. And she's beautiful. And she's, you know, 30 years old. And she's a true rock star. She's been very influential in, in modern pop music. Uh, her her voice is absolutely amazing, has uh, won several Grammys, numerous other accolades, you know. And she began her career really at age 15 in 2008 uh, in the Broadway musical 13. So she's really you know been totally amazing. So I want to talk about Ariana because of you know I think that she kind of typifies some of the trials and tribulations that everyone goes through in their teenage years as they become adults. But everything is amplified in someone who is famous. And certainly she rose to fame very, very rapidly from age 15 to 18. And of course, during that time period, you know, your whole life is in a spotlight. And I think that's highlighted in recently uh, when she did a makeup and skincare routine in Vogue and Beauty Secrets in the YouTube series, she came, you know, she really came to grips with some of that and candidly addressed some of the beauty standards that were connected with her. And she did that on TikTok and, um, and, and Instagram. And basically, you know, she talked about her transparency, at least letting us know what she has or has not had done over the years. And... Uh, she really, I kind of spilled it on saying, I, as being fully transparent, as a beauty person, I do my lips. I've had tons of Botox and fillers over the years, but I stopped it in 2018. And I think that's pretty laudable. But, you know, I think obviously just like many other you know, uh, actresses and, and people in the figure in, that are in the public eye, they've probably had a lot more than what they talk about. So, and, and of course, it's all good to do that. And I, I'm not a plastic surgeon. I'm actually just talking about primarily for the public and the viewers so they can see what I see as a professional uh, that, yes, she's had these things done, but perhaps other things as well. And this is no means to criticize her beauty because she's absolutely stunning, but to just to comment about that, that so that sometimes, you know, just like the Kardashians, who actually deny having plastic surgery almost every time, and yet we know that's just untrue. Uh, we want to just lay it out straight here and say about this is what I see as a as an expert in this field. So you know she's like I said she's beautiful and she talked this time about her lips and having had Botox and fillers, and that it was stopped several years ago. In this case, it was 2018 because she just thought you know it was like it was hiding who she was, but. When you look at her, you know, starting out at, you know, between 15 and 18, you know, she's, there's other things that have transpired in her life. You know, it's not just the fillers in her lips, but it's also been in her cheeks and in her mailer areas. And you can see that in this transition where, you know, she's gone from having a more of a youthful, full face that you see in a 15 or 18 year old to someone that has a more of a, tightened look and that only can be from the use of non-surgical things like uh, fillers in her nasolabial folds and cheeks and, and Botox and of course in her lips as well just to give her that radiance and then when you also look uh, there's other things that she's done as well and and that includes you know her nose you know and she's at least had one rhinoplasty and you can see that you know her nose was sometimes a little bulbous and 
and a little straighter. Now she has a little bit what's called a super tip break. Here she is at age 29 and she's had a little bit of a super tip break done. Her tip was much more bulbous before and she's so she's had more refinement of that and certainly in 2021 you can see much how her nasal radix, her dorsum has been narrowed, her tip's been more refined and shaped. And she's also had other things done, uh, perhaps fillers around her eyelids and and probably even having had a, um, a minimally invasive brow lift because her brows are much more elevated and of course her lips are filled. So these are all things that are a part of a transition. And I mention that because she's beautiful as she is today, but just so that when people who emulate her and say, wow, why is she so beautiful and I'm not? Well, she's had a little help. You know, I think, I think most of it looks like it's really been good. You know, the, the nasal and tip shaping, the fillers. I think that her fillers and her it has not been overdone like I see in some of the, uh, uh, of the people that are um, in the public eye, but she certainly has a, a fuller lip. Her nose is more refined. She's got a little bit of a super tip break. Her eyebrows are more elevated. So is her eyelids. She's probably had something called a canthopexy that helps to fill that out. So those are all good things. I, I mentioned that just so that when you feel like you're on the left and you say, why? Why can't I look like Ariana like on the right without doing anything except makeup? Well, it's because I think makeup did a lot of that, but it didn't do all of it. And notice her jawline is much more refined and all those things are helped with a little bit of fillers and some neuromodulators like Botox. And I think those are good things. And you know, you can see that time and time again, when you see that radiance that, uh, you know, you have a more natural look as you see here where you, where she's got full cheeks and now, you know, she's, her cheeks are much more sculpted as is her eyebrows and her eyelids. And that's all, to do with just the finesse of adding fillers and Botox. And, and I think as she mentioned uh, recently in the Vogue uh, interview on YouTube, she wanted to stop that years ago because she wanted people to see her true self. She was tired of hiding behind that self to please others. And I think that's laudable. But I think it's good to be forthright and talk about that versus saying I didn't have anything done, which is a very common thing that people say. Um, and I'm not picking on the Kardashians again, but you know they, they do always talk about how I never had anything done. Well, you know, it just adds to your credibility when you come out and say, hey, I've had these things done. You know, I've had fillers, I've had Botox. That's all normal. That's okay. It's okay to do that. And I think that's really, it can be your second coming out. It can be your coming out of saying, hey, I think it's great. And of course, these things are not, you know, they are not cost, you know, they cost, they have a cost to them. You know, whether you're adding a rhinoplasty, which can be 20, 30,000. Fillers and Botox over several years can be thousands of dollars. Uh, and, and all the other things, a brow lift or having a canthopexy, that can be another 15, 20,000. So these things are not inexpensive, but it's, it's part of her business. It's part of what she does. So, so when you really look at the true Ariana Grande, uh, Ariana Grande you know, who, who is it? Is it, the, is it that split on the, on the right or is it on the left? Is it really her natural looking f useful self or is it that other self? And I think that's what she's struggling with now at age 30 is she wants to look and not no longer hide behind the old self that may not be the real self of her. And I think that's laudable. I mean, she's beautiful. She's an amazingly talented actress and songwriter and singer. And I think she's coming of age of saying, listen, I want to be who I want to be. So it's okay to listen to your inner self and to say, I want to go back to where I was before, or at least I want to reflect on that and be open and honest with myself. And I think that's important. And that's what Ariana is trying to say here, at least my extrapolation of that. And I think that's a good thing. But along the way, being open and honest about the things you've had done, from rhinoplasty to canthopexies to brow lifts to fillers and Botox, that's, that's great to do. 
And I applaud her for coming and saying that because I think the viewers like that. You can see she had several million likes when she came out and talked about that uh, on her YouTube channel. And I think that's very important to do because people like it when you're open and honest. So, so give me your comments about what do you think about this interpretation uh, and if you like it and if you have any comments about what other things you'd want to talk about or anybody else you want me to just uh, look at as a plastic surgeon, I'll give you a very open, honest, and positive response because, you know, everybody goes through life struggles in, in their in their day-to-day -day life. And, and honestly, if you're under the spot like, like these uh, very famous, popular uh, artists, I mean, I can see there's an incredible pressure here to be and look the best you can be every day. So hope this was educational, helping you to be more educated, you and, and when you're following role models that nobody's perfect, that you can say, aha, well, maybe I too can do something like this. And you can choose to do it or not, but you know, you can always be your best self and be true to your inner self as well. So until next time, helping you become a better you. Take care.